tonight. It's a duel on the mound for St. Louis. All-star Matt Morris takes the hill and tries to shut down San Francisco for the second time this week. The Giants counter with a strikeout leader of their own, Jason Schmidt, who looks for revenge as well. It's a tale of two pitchers, Morris and Schmidt. Round two coming up next. David Bell and the Giants looking for a win tonight to even up this series at a game apiece on a beautiful night for baseball in the city. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Francisco Giants live tonight from Pacific Bell Park. Good evening, everybody. I'm Glenn Kuyper. Welcome to Giants baseball here on Fox Sports. That the Giants will be playing short again tonight due to injuries. The middle of their batting order, Jeff Kent, Barry Bonds, Reggie Sanders all out tonight. Those three have combined for 58 home runs, 181 RBIs, and the news is not great on Barry Bonds. After watching him pinch hit in the ninth last night, the Giants staff realized he was not as close to being ready to play as originally thought. Bonds experienced significant pain during that at-bat. Don't be surprised if he does not play at all in this homestand. Just moments ago, Bonds did test that hamstring, did some light jogging and some side-to-side -side running, but he is a ways away from being game ready. The disabled list, not an option just yet. The Giants are going to wait a couple days to see just how he feels, to see if he does feel a little bit better. But uh, as of right now, no Barry Bonds for the rest of this homestand, and they will wait a couple days to see if the disabled list is an option. To talk more about that, let's bring in our game announcers, Dwayne Kuyper and Mike Kruko. And guys, it's kind of a suck it up time for the Giants, isn't it? Well, it is. And, uh, you know, have you ever heard this one? You have to really take one game at a time. Well, in the absence of the three guys that are not in the lineup, you really do. And you got to take it as, as best as you can, grind it out, and, uh, and just, you know, try to scrap out a couple of runs here and there and hope you get a great performance from Jason Schmidt. Well, I, I think the, the, the mantra that they should be chanting is don't try to do too much. I mean, you have to take it one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time. If you do that, you can simplify things and you can deal with it. Well, from Jason Schmidt's standpoint, you can't go out there and try and throw a nine-inning shutout. you got to take it one pitch at a time. If that's what happens at the end of the game, great. But you cannot try and do too much and get too far ahead of yourself. If you do, the task at hand becomes enormous. So, again, simplify. Go out, break down those hitters, know what you have to do to try and get them out, pitch into your defense, and simply execute. It's a simple game if played right, and I think that's the approach they need to have. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see Dwayne and Mike in just a little bit with the call of the game. No Bonds, no Sanders, but Tom Goodwin will be in the Giants lineup tonight, and he will be in that leadoff spot. When we come back, Bip Roberts talks with Goodwin about what it's like to be playing for the team you cheered for as a kid. We'll have that and more in just a moment. Giants baseball is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. By McDonald's, there's something new at McDonald's, hot and spicy chicken fingers, now on our everyday McValues menu. By Corona and Corona Light, official sponsor of the timeout. By Sprint PCS, the clear alternative to cellular. And by Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines, bringing people together with low fares. Pacific Bell Park to place tonight as the Giants and the Cardinals get set for game two of this four-game series. You're going to see it all right here on Fox Sports Net. Tom Goodwin has done it the right way so far. Take your biggest clutch hits and save them for games against the Giants. Goodwin will be back in the starting lineup in the leadoff spot tonight for the Giants. And he is doing just fine wearing the orange and black. Here is Bip Roberts with Tom Goodwin. Here's the throw. Not close. How special is it, though? You know, I had a chance to come back and play for the A's and, and retire with that. How special is it to come back to San Francisco, play for the Giants, and then play in front of your home town, as well as all your family members? It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, it's, you know, like I was saying, it's, and no disrespect to the other teams that I played for, but it's one of those feelings. I mean, it's, it's really a gut feeling that you just have in your heart that you know that this is where it needs to be. To be able to experience that, you know, play the game you love, play the game we've been playing since we were so high, you know, and, and, and to be able to do that and be very, uh, uh, you know, very fortunate enough to have family members and, uh, and friends be able to come up, uh, you know, and watch me. They're, 
There can't be any other greater beat in the world. I was just telling somebody the other day when I stepped up to the plate, I think in my last at bat, and I just kind of, you know, I took a deep breath. And that's when I first hit, it hit me. I was like, I'm a giant. Yeah. You know, that's, you know, that's going to buy this bat. As soon as, I, as soon as I stepped in there, I was like, I'm, like, I'm a giant. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. And he makes the sliding catch. Where do you see yourself going from here? Well, once I get off this cable car, I'm going to give you something to eat. <laughs> On Fox Sports Net. <laughs> Well, there's no question Tom Goodwin is happy to be here. And with the middle of the Giants order out tonight, out of the lineup, Tom Goodwin will be needed big time to use that speed, manufacture some runs from the top of the order. So we will keep a close eye on leadoff hitter Tom Goodwin tonight. Stick around. When we come back to Pacific Belt Park, we'll take a look at our starting pitcher matchup for tonight. It is a rematch of Thursday's game in St. Louis. Giants and Cards, game two, coming up. Another big crowd is expected for the second of this four-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the first place St. Louis Cardinals. That's first place in the NL Central. Well, the St. Louis Cardinals beat Jason Schmidt last Thursday at Busch Stadium in St. Louis tonight. Schmidt will try to even the score. And let's check out our starting pitcher matchup. It is our Chevron High Performance Spotlight. Schmidt versus Matt Morris. Now, Morris is the ace of this staff. He's 11-6 and six this year after winning 22 games last year. He has a career record of 55 and 31, and he has been an all-star each of the last two seasons. Schmidt, 5 and 4 with a 3.58 ERA. This will be his 17th start of the year. He is 6 and 5 in his career versus the St. Louis Cardinals. So Jason Schmidt versus Matt Morris tonight here at Pacific Bell Park. The Giants in need of a win as they try to even up this four-game series at a game apiece. We are just about set for baseball from Pacific Bell Park. Coming up, game two of this four-game series, the Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. Giants will try to do it with the middle of their batting order on the bench with injuries. Here at Pac Bell Park on a beautiful night. It'll be the Cardinals and the Giants in game two of this four game series. And tonight it'll be left in the hands of right hander Jason Schmidt. In the NL West, this is what it looks like. Mike, two games back for the Giants and the Dodgers right there, two and a half back. Did you expect anything else? <laughs> It's the National League West. Come on. I guess you can expect it that way for the rest of the way. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to go all the way down to the last day of the season. The teams are too evenly matched, and they're all going to be tested. Right now, the Giants are getting tested. They are missing the three, four, and five guys in their lineup. Bonds, Kent, and Sanders are out with injuries. That's the bad news. The good news is they're not the type of injuries that would put them on the disabled list, so they should come back within the next few days. When, we don't know. But until that time, it's keep your head above water and go out and play good hardball. Now let's take a look at some of the Mercedes-Benz keys to the game. Simplify. Don't try and be the guy that hits the seven-run homer. Just get a good pitch to hit. Put a good swing on it. For Jason Smith, strike one. Get that first pitch over. Don't keep your defense out there too long. Keep them fresh. That'll help them out on offense. Also, great defense helps your pitching. And how about a new hero every day? Hey, last weekend it was Tom Goodwin. Who's it going to be tonight? And that's the way you have to think. You can't feel sorry for yourself. It's the big leagues. And when you have three, four, five guys go out of your lineup, guess who replaces them? As Dwayne Kuyper says, they're big leaguers. They are big leaguers. And you just got to battle and scratch and and get after them. And uh, that's a tough guy to get after right there. You're looking at uh, Matt Morris as he walks in. Morris, an all-star, walking next to his catcher, Mike DeFelice. Tonight, this is who Morris will not face. Well, at least not face as starters, Bonds, Kent, and Sanders. Tonight's starters, 55 home runs. The one thing is the Cardinals do not feel sorry for the Giants one bit. No. Are you kidding me? They're loving life. All right, let's take a look at Tony LaRusse's lineup brought to you by Southwest Airlines. 
Fernando Vina will lead it off, followed by Placido Polanco. Jim Edmonds will hit third. Albert Pujols is the cleanup hitter, followed by Tino Martinez. Fifth, sixth is J.D. Drew. Edgar Renteria, and he has lit up the Giants this year, including last night. Mike DeFelice will bat eighth, and Matt Morris ninth. Here's the McDonald Scott report on Jason Schmidt, tonight's pitcher for the Giants, a four-pitch power pitcher who can finesse you when he's on. He didn't even need, need much more than a fastball. That's how good his fastball is, but he can strike you out with any one of his pitches, a fastball, a curveball, a slider, and a changeup. A 1.87 home ERA, that's the best in the National League. Loves the friendly confines of Pac Bell Park. And here, let's take a look at the Giants defense, which is brought to you by Sprint PCS. That will play behind Schmidt. It'll be good with Shinjo and Dunstan in the outfield with Bell, Aurelia, Martinez, and Minor in the infield. It's Martinez's second start at second base this season. Benito Santiago will do the catching for Jason Schmidt. And the big right-hander comes into this ball game. His numbers are a little deceiving. He's only got five wins against four losses, but a very fine ERA at 2.58. Going 98 innings, 86 hits allowed, 100 strikeouts. That's over a, a strikeout an inning. It tells you what kind of stuff he has. And he really should have won a lot more games than the five. Remember, his first start came on the 24th of April. He broke the season, and he was on the disabled list. So he got a little bit of a late start. Despite that, he's right at about at the 100-inning level, well on his way to 200-plus, which is what the Giants had hoped to get out of him this year. So here we are as Vina steps in on a crystal clear night here at Pac Bell Park. Vina is one of the hottest guys in baseball right now. Last night the Giants couldn't get him out. Well, the last four games he's got a 10 for 19, 526 average. That's ball for a strike. Seven eighteen first pitch, sixty five degrees. Here's the old one out of play down the left field line, and it's nothing in two. Look at that number there on the fastball, ninety six miles per hour. Always a concern with Jason Schmidt as to what type of fastball he will leave the bullpen with. And tonight he has bought his A fastball, A pelota. Thursday in St. Louis. Schmidt's numbers. And Vina barely got a piece of it to stay alive. We'll reach back there, 97 and a two strike count with location on the outside corner. Vina really a very good contact guy. Does not strike out a lot. In fact, he strikes out one every 19 plus two bats. One and two. Backdoor curveball. I, I think it surprised Jerry Meals, the plate umpire. And, and that big curveball can do that. Not only surprised the hitter, it surprised the umpire as well. Let's do the first one. Out of play, and it stays one and two. This guy really has worked on his swing over the years. I like his work ethic. He's gotten better in this league every season he's played. No wasted movement in his approach to the ball. Hands high, takes a direct cut right down in the strike zone. Ground ball, line drive, that's what he thinks. Gets a fly ball, he's ticked off. Out of good change up. Wow. That's a pretty impressive array of pitches that Vina saw from Schmidt. This is the finish pitch, a change up. You could fool this guy as we talked about how hard he is to strike out. You fool this guy, get him out in front like that, you've made a heck of a pitch. Here's Polanco. 284 for Polanco, five home runs, 27 RBI. That ball for a strike, and it's 0 1. Polanco, one for five last night. I forgot to ask you a question because you hit leadoff 
Vigna is a scout for his team. In the dirt, one ball and one strike. Now he's going to get back to the Cardinal dugout, and they're going to ask him what Schmidt has thrown. What do you think his scout report's going to be like? Well, first of all, he's going to say it's tough to see. And then he's going to say nasty fastball, nasty curveball, and a nasty changeup. Go get him. <laughs> Two balls in one strike. And that really, that's a bad combination. It is tough to see with the background. The shadows right now are. Mitchell Page. Splashing right up against the backdrop. And that gives you an idea how tough it, it is. Two and two on the pop up above us. You know, there's really a couple of different ways of going about answering your teammates when they ask you. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And it hit him. I'm not sure about that. Jerry Mills isn't sure either. As Polanco now goes down. Well, and he's not faking that. That's a good sell job right yeah. there. That is not a fake job. If he's acting, that's the greatest one I've ever seen. I'll tell you what, it, it sounded like a hit wood. Let's watch it. Right hand. Bottom hand. Bottom hand on the bat. Right there. Woods. I think when he he checked his swing, he exposed his his right hand, and it just hit the base of, and the heel of his wrist. All right, right there on the right hand. But oh boy, you know, it might have got part of the knob too. Well, hey, I believe he sold me. Although, I don't know about that smile right there. I'm still, I got a little skepticism in here. Now you got it. So, Polanco aboard for Edmonds. Edmonds hitting 321 with... 19 home runs, 50 RBI. Had a home run off of Levon Hernandez to center field in the game yesterday. But you're talking about a scouting report. Toby Harry used to come back, and guys would ask him what he had, and Toby would go, "He's got no hit stuff. We had no chance." <laughs> he would not. Yeah, and uh, you know, say two. Can you soften it up just a little bit? It's a strike. It didn't have to be strike. Last night, Edmonds hit a fly ball that just kept going and going and going. And it went out. Too many guys get ticked off on balls that go out to dead center. And that was the case last night. Edmonds thought it was a pop up. So do we. Change up. One and two. You talk about scouting reports. I'll never forget the one that Will Clark gave to us in Houston, 1986. Mike. Um, Nolan Ryan. No, Mike Scott was pitching. And Mike Scott opened up the first inning. Will Clark comes back. He goes, boys, he's got nothing. We're going to light him up today. No hitter. That was the no hitter that clinched the division championship for the Astros. Oh, that fastball was right by him. That's about as bad as you're going to see Jim Edmonds look. Setting him up. Just an explosive, I couldn't see it fastball. Wow. He can do that, though. He, he will set you up. He can have some funky swings in the same at bat. And then beat you 
late the count. Who holds? 296. 23 home runs, 75 RBI. Fastball of beauty, and it's 0 and 1. Well, right now, Jason Schmidt's got his A game. He is pounding strike one, and everything he's throwing up there is an electric. Knocked down by Santiago. A ball and a strike. When the pitcher's out there and he starts the first inning, everybody behind him, all the players, are looking to see what's showing up. What's he got that night? I'll tell you right now, the Giants are pretty pumped up with what Schmidt has brought into this game. Polanco with his lead. Ball high and away. Two balls in a strike. Well, everyone, every homestand, we get one night that is perfect, and this is perfect. Yeah, this, you're right. Three and one. Flags are blowing a different direction, though. We really don't know what the ball is going to do, how it's going to carry. We haven't seen this this type of wind. The flags are blowing across the field, out to right field. I've not seen that very often. You cannot get a clear evening here in the Bay. Just spectacular. Three and one. And the walk, bringing Martinez to the plate. Morris getting ready to go out to the mound. Martinez went two for five last night. Overall batting 244. Fastball missed somewhere. One ball and no strike. Giants. 56 and 43. And a dirt, Santiago. Can't do anything but knock it down and then it rolls away, and that'll be a wild pitch. Hey, Jason Schmidt is creating some opportunity here for the Cardinals. Hit Bassman, a walk, a wild pitch. Basically, two runners in scoring position for free. The type of stuff that he has right now. Carlos got to feel like, hey, here's an opportunity that we shouldn't really be getting right now with what he's throwing up there. Down the left field line on a 2 0 pitch, and that will be in the seats. Martinez in that start in St. Louis against. Schmidt. Martinez went 0 for 1. He did draw a couple of walks off of Schmidt. Inside corner strike, and it's 2 and 2. Two, that was nasty. 97 on the inside corner had a little comeback mo movement to it. Almost like a, a backdoor sinker at 97. <laughs> if there is such a thing. Two and two to Martinez. Schmidt out of the windup. And he deals. And he hammers one to right. This one's not going to be caught. Off the wall, two runs will score. And just like that, the Cardinals take a two to nothing lead. Well, it's amazing. You create opportunity for free, and one bad pitch location can cost you dearly. And for what he's throwing in this at bat, he makes a mistake upstairs, and you tip your hat. 
to Tina Martinez for taking advantage of it. The one locator up above the belt, and look at the result. A bullet right off the wall halfway up. And just like that, two runs for free. Here's J.D. Drew. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. Two sixty-five with 13 home runs, 38 RBIs. J.D. Drew did not play last night. High, one ball and one strike. Sets right around the letters. And a breaking ball is outside. Two and one. Schmidt rubs up the baseball. Threw a very quick bat, especially down and in. And it's two and two. Got in there nice that fastball. Smith. First two runs he's allowed in the first inning this year. That's an amazing stat when you're thinking about it. about a week away from August. Two two pitch, got him. Drew out to end the inning. Two runs in. Smith strikes out the side. Giants coming up. Two nothing. Cardinals. Check out the Giants lineup brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Tom Goodwin will lead it off, followed by Ramon Martinez. Batting third is Rich Aurelia. Lena Pitter, Damon Minor. Benito Santiago, fifth. Sixth is David Bell. Fifteen home runs this year. Same as last year. John Dunstan hitting seventh, eighth, Shinjo, ninth, Schmidt. Here's Goodwin. Strike at the knees, 0-1. Take a look at the McDonald's scout report on Matt Morris, an explosive fastball curve combination. You can run on him. Basically a, a strikeout ground ball guy. Just really has great movement. You can four-seam the fastball at 96. Get a good hard two-seamer with lots of ground balls. And he's got that hook right there. That is a dandy. One of the better curve balls in the game. 27 years old, 6'5", 210 pounds. Morris. Sorry, guys. I was going to say it, Morris. Won 22 games last year was his breakout year. Down the left field line, off the end of the bat. That'll be foul. After the 22 wins last year for Morris, he followed it up this year with a, a first half to put him on the All Star team. I mean, he's quality. He is a bull. He is an inning eater. 2 2 to Goodwin. In the dirt. Goodwin held up, no swing. Martinez to follow. Cardinals with two runs in the top of the inning. And Goodwin fights another one off and out of play. They really set the middle in, or the center fielder and the left fielder towards the left field side. They've got J.D. Drew playing left center. And the walk. Wow. Thank you very much. The defense behind. <laughs> Matt Morris tonight looks like this. It's a defense brought to you by Sprint PCS with Pujols, Edmonds, and Drew in the outfield. Polanco, Renteria, Vina, and Martinez across the infield. Dave Felice will do the catching. Tino Martinez first among National League first baseman in fielding percentage with 998. He has picked it clean for the Redbirds. Ramon Martinez, a good night last night. Three for five. In at third is Polanco. Goodwin goes. Here's the throw. And it hit Goodwin. And Goodwin thought about it, but he's going to stay put. And that'll be a stolen base. And we told you that you could steal on Morris. He's very slow to get rid of the ball. 
His load times, unload times, are around 1.4, which are, is pretty slow and gives a guy at least a half step on a jump. Keep the least throwing the ball right into oh. the back of Goodwin. Cardinals really catch a break here. If that ball gets by Goodwin and goes into center field, that's probably an easy scamper for him over to third base. Ball in for a strike, and now it's nothing and two. Well, Martinez has to get that run over to third base any way he can. Blowing away, one ball and two strikes. This really is a strikeout situation for a, a pitcher. He's going to try and deny the Giants a productive out. The easiest way to do it is strike the hitter out. Very similar to the runner at third base one out situation. Two and two. Martinez swinging the bat well. Two and two, Martinez. Twins, and he is out on strike. And let's check in with Glenn. Thanks a lot, Dwayne. For a GMC professional grade tonight, we're going to watch the Giants lineup to see how they go about scoring runs without their top three RBI guys. Will they run more, hit and run? What will Dusty do with this lineup? And we've seen it in the first inning already, guys. A walk in the first pitch after the walk. Tom Goodwin still second. And we also saw Ramon Martinez trying to bunt on an 0-1 pitch. So it looks like it may be small ball, at least for now, for Dusty Baker and the Giants. All right. Thanks, Glenn. And here's Rich Aurelia. Aurelia oh. takes a fastball outside for a ball 1-0. has a lot of sink on that fastball. Just a lot of movement in general. Outside. Lee Jones came over from the radio side to hand us the note that the Dodgers have acquired Tyler Houston from the Milwaukee Brewers. They're looking for some offense. Aurelia on the ground is short. Renteria has it. Goodwin will go to third. And there's two down. And that'll bring up Damon Miner. Miner, 263, nine home runs, 20 RBI. Now the Giants need a base hit or a mistake by the Cardinals to get on the board. Outside, 1-0. and I think that David Miner's been looking forward to the start. The last time he saw Matt Morris in St. Louis, Morris hat trick. Struck him out three times. Big bouncing ball, Renteria. Stays with it as it's flattened out, and that'll end the inning. Giants strand good one at third. We played one, two nothing Cardinals. Well, the Cubs make their only visit to Pac Bell Park for a three game set against the Giants Tuesday, August 6th through Thursday, August 8th. Fans, the Cubs visit to Pac Bell Park is always an event, and you can still get tickets for the first two games of the series. Choice seats for Tuesday and Wednesday night games against the Cubs, led by Sammy Sosa, still available. For as little as 12 or 17 bucks a piece, call 510-762-BALL or go to sfgiants.com. Here's Renteria who fouls this one out of play. I tell you, Kai, the Giants had a chance to play a little ball in the first inning, and they, and they wind up with the Gazette. The big at bat in that bottom half of the first was Ramon Martinez and his failure to get Tom Goodwin over to third base. you got to get him over. I mean, that's what we're talking about. 
That bunt is out of play. Chance of the walk, a stolen base. You get a ground ball to the right side of the infield. Good one goes to third base, and that ground ball that really hits the shortstop, that's a run. And these are opportunities you cannot let go by. If you're going to beat the Cardinals, you're going to have to do it by doing things fundamentally correct. Renteria needs eight hits for a thousand in his career. Two for four last night. He's 17 for his last 38. Martinez backs up, gets a big hop. Miner catches it, and there's one out. And this guy's only 26 years old. Deep police. Deep police one for three against the Giants this year. A personal catcher for Matt Morris. Shinjo throws. Now he comes in and puts it away. One pitch one out. Thank you very much. Sean Dunstan was saying before the game and only Sean Dunstan style that Matt Morris clearly has to be the toughest pitcher in, in all of baseball because in one start he managed to put Sanders Bonds and Kent on the bench. <laughs> Morris Addis. Here's Morris. Swing and a miss and it's over now. You know it's pretty funny in the clubhouse if you have a a pitcher who's as prominent as Morris, a guy with really good stuff, standout stuff, which he has. Out of play. If a regular player is not in the lineup, and we're not saying that they, they pull themselves out, they could be out of the lineup for a number of different reasons. It doesn't make a difference. If he's out of the lineup, then you've got Morrisitis. There used to be Nolan Ryanitis, Randy Johnsonitis, Kurt Schillingitis. Hey. I had it all. I had my crucoitis. <laughs> I did. That was not a disease. Well, plus it was spring training. <laughs> Strike three call. I was afraid that you were working on your knockdown pitch in spring training. <laughs> Two nothing, Cardinals. Time now for this date in Giants history brought to you by your Northern California Toyota dealers on July 23rd, 1978. That is when Jack Clark extended his hitting streak to 25 games with the first inning single and Jim Barr pitched the Giants to a 3-1 victory over the Pirates. We just saw Jack Clark over the weekend in Los Angeles and he can still hit. And he always looks forward to coming back to San Francisco. On the ground, off the bat is Santiago. Oh. Vina's got it. And one pitch, one out. And that'll bring up David Bell. David Bell. A home run in the game last night to tie the game. takes a strike. Two for four lifetime with a double off of Morris. And another strike and it's 0 and 2. So bang bang. Here's the 0-2 pitch. They're coming in tight and it's low and in one and two. Last night just tied it up. One two pitch on the ground to second. Vina again has it. And that's two away. You know, Matt Morris really remarkable when you think about 1999. He missed the entire season because of the Tommy John surgery. And he was on his way to really impressive rookie year, 1997. Pitched 217 innings. Then he 
had the elbow problems. But last year, the breakout year, 22 wins, 8 losses. And he was the one guy in the playoffs that matched up against Schilling and Johnson. Not against both of them, but whoever he went up against. He kept the Cardinals right into the game. Got so much movement on the fastball. Just explosive. Down around the knees, it sinks. Up around the belt, it cuts. It, it, it bores in. That's a base hit. Dunstan is aboard. And that's the first hit for the Giants. And we talked about Morris being a strikeout ground ball guy. Every ball that the Giants have hit so far tonight has been on the ground. And Dunstan, who I think does a, a real good job of going back up the middle. And to put pressure on the play with some good speed around in the bag. Plays hard. Nice at that. Here's Shinjo. Shinjo with a 240 average. Eight home runs. 32 RBI. Make it 2-0. Still looking down to Sonny Jackson. Martinez holding on Dunstan. On the ground to third. Polanco goes the short way to end the inning. Giants strand one after two, two nothing Cardinals. Well, it's called McCovey Point at China Basin Park. It's a, a park that is going to have a 570-foot seat wall that will highlight the roster of every Giants team from 1959 to 1999. You can purchase a tile now to be placed on that seat wall. A 4x8 tile is 95 bucks. 8x8 tile is 225 plus you get an autographed Willie McCovey baseball. Here's the number to call, 1-866-McCovey. Big Mac along with Lon Simmons. Every giant that played from 58 through 1999 as Vina dribbles at foul will be part of that wall. Now Mike has got a Giants roster in that time frame. So do I. And I'm saying that my team is better than your team. Well the 65 Giants pretty good team. Vina struck out in the first inning. Low and in. One ball and one strike. All right. My best player yep. on that 79 team. Yeah. Willie McCovey. I got Willie McCovey on mine. I got Willie Mays on mine. And I have Jack Clark on mine. I've got Orlando Cepeda on mine. All right, well, I get the best one of them all. Who? Mike Sadek. You win. <laughs> one and one to Vina. Swinging a bouncing ball. Miners got it on a hop. And that's out number one. Hey, in the 1965 Giants team, I got a guy in this team who was born in 1921. Who Beat that. Who do you have? Warren Spahn. That's another Hall of Famer. So he'll be on that wall? There's five Hall of Famers, six Hall of Famers on this team. Marichal. Perry, Warren Spahn, Cepeda, McCovey, Mays. I win, pal. All right, let me find my oldest guy. Well, my oldest guy on the team is, is Big Man. Outside to Polanco, one ball and no strike. Johnny LeMaster was on that team. Rob Andrews. Bubba Whitson. One of our all-time favorites, Max Venable. Just saw Max Venable. He was at the ceremony when the Giants broke ground for the new ballpark or the new park. 2-0 to Polanco, out of play. And 
The last one that I'll mention. Heidi Cruz. Hector. Play with Hector Cruz. Played against him. His nephew is playing in Toronto. Jose Cruz Jr. 2-1 pitch. On the ground, David Bell, one hop. And there's two down. Interview guests of Giants Baseball on Fox Sports Net receive a gift of Nike Eyewear. Wear Nike Eyewear. Here's Edmonds. Edmonds hits a long one. Dunstan back. It is gone. And it's three to nothing. Setting him up, he set him up. Remember the swing that Edmund struck out on in his first at bat. It was as ugly as you've ever seen. Follows it up with one of the longer home runs we've seen hit this year. Set him up. Let's watch it. Fastball, he hits high home runs. And that thing just stayed hit for a long time. Here's Pujol, and it's low, one ball and no strike. I mean, that's power meeting power right there. 96 mile hour fastball. Let's see it. Not a problem. There's a fastball for a strike. Three nothing. Giants will have their work cut out for them against Morris. High fly ball into right center field. Room for Shinjo. That ends the inning. Edmonds home run makes it a 3 nothing lead for the Cardinals. 3 nothing Cardinals. Schmidt takes low and away. One ball and one strike. And in two and two and one with Tom Goodwin on deck. Giants with one hit, and that's fouled at the plate to make it two and two. strikes and a breaking ball and that's out number one tonight the best damn sports show period their all-star summer continues Kareem Abdul Jabbar will stop by along with Junior say out Bert Flylevin will check in he'll talk about the pennant races the labor trouble Best damn sports show period coming up after the ball game. Here's Goodwin. Strike at the knees, and it's 0 1. Goodwin drew a walk in the first. He then eventually worked his way to third. The Giants could not get him in. Boy, Matt Morris just shoot fire. One and two. Wasting no time. Get on the slab, check in. As soon as you're a hitter, boy, you. He's coming right at your throat. Get ready to go. Off the plate. Two balls, two strikes. That's a unique two pitch combination right there. He threw a 1 1 curveball inside, then he went back outside with the curveball. I think he wanted to go on the outside corner with the with the first strike he threw inside. He kind of crossed up the location. I think you're right. Base hit to right field. Good one on base for the second time. One hook, too many. And here's Ramon Martinez. Just a little bit too much height on the breaking ball. Leaves it up around the belt. 
And the little guys who don't have much swing, when you miss up above the belt, you are playing their game. Good one, a very disciplined swing, and a two-strike count comes up with a nice base hit. Good at bat. Martinez struck out in the first inning. Goodwin takes off. First pitch. Here's the throw. He'll make it easy. Well, everything so far tonight is running true to form. Morris throws a lot of ground balls, but when you get on base, you can steal on them. Goodwin really gets a nice pitch to go on, too, a breaking ball. Deep release really didn't have much of a chance. You know, at, at, at base stealers are, are like hitters. When line drive starts getting whacked around, it's contagious. And, and base stealers, when, when they think they have an edge against a, a pitcher, I mean, it, it, it's it's that little extra aggressiveness that they get on stealing a bag. Curveball misses, two and a It's all about confidence. If you think you can in the sport, you oftentimes do. the catch and Goodwin will tag up and make it to third. And Richard really will hit for the second time in this game with Tom Goodwin at third base. Yeah, pretty good at bat for Martinez. J.D. Drew playing sort of a straightaway set defensively which is rare here at Packville Park. Goodwin is so, so quick, he can get back to the bag even late on a fly ball to the outfield in advance 90 feet. Aurelia grounded out to shortstop. And he takes a strike. 96, first time he's hit it. Reach it back on a man at third base. Strikeout pitcher thinks strikeout in this situation, trying to do it himself. Balls in one strike. In tight. That evens a count. One and one. Morris standing straight up and tall on the mound now throws and it really takes low and in again. Win with his lead off a of third. And a strike, a breaking ball two and two. Two and two to Aurelia. And now Aurelia has the time and he gets it. Everybody's ready. The 2 2 pitch. Big bouncing ball to short. Renteria waits on it. And his throw is in plenty of time. And that ends the inning. Good one again. Stranded. We played three. It's three nothing. Cardinals. Welcome back, everybody. The Giants minor league system is rich in young arms. At the top of the list is 22 year old right hander. Jesse Fopper. Now, Fopper started the year in double A. He is now at triple A Fresno. Listen to these numbers. In triple A, he's made seven starts. He's got a 3.14 ERA. He's pitched 43 innings, given up just 30 hits with 61 strikeouts. 61 strikeouts in 43 innings. Join him, Mike. Young man looks like the real deal, even though he's only made 32 starts in pro ball. But the Giants are very excited about Jesse Fopper. Well, you got to love a kid with an arm like that. Yeah. 
Can't come out there and strike people out easily. Little looper down the left field line. Moving over is Goodwin and he makes the catch. Actually, it's about a 330 foot looper. <laughs> All right, we're going to ask our AFLAC trivia question. Question tonight, name the player to lead the National League in home runs as both a Giant and as a Cardinal. You missed this one. Shame on you. I have no idea. Here's J.D. Drew. Fastball for a strike. So at what point does it quit being a looper and it starts to be a fly ball? Well, that was a looper. The wind just really kicked up, and the ball is carrying right down the line. Strike and it's nothing in two. Well, for McGuire, that's a looper. Okay. Out of play and it stays 0 and 2. Renteria to follow. the dirt one and two top of the fourth inning here's the one two he got him oh nasty inside corner back door sinker 95 up you know, I don't know if you can call this a sinker it's just the movement that comes back in across the play I mean, I doubt that he's throwing that pitch with a two-seam grip. And not many guys have that type of movement on a four-seam fastball. If he's two-seaming it at 95, that's impressive. Here's Renteria. And the fastball is up high. Renteria grounded out to Martinez at second, and he takes a strike to even the count. Next pitch, high and foul down the right field line, headed towards the arcade, but just shy of the arcade and into the seat. Might have hit that little girl. No, I don't even say that. Or scared her, one or the other. Okay, we'll say scared her. There's mom for the rescue. Here's the one two. Popped it up. Santiago will watch this one drop out of play. One and two. Check swing roller. This will be a tough play. David Bell can't get a handle on it. And that'll be a base hit. Well, for Renteria, when you're hot, you're hot. And of all the Giants starting pitchers, the one guy that does fall off hard towards the first base line is Jason Schmidt. That exposes the right side of the field, a ball that probably would have been gobbled up easily by... Levon Hernandez or Russ Ortiz or Kirk Reeder or Ryan Jensen. Jason Schmidt cannot get over to get, and it becomes a third baseman only ball. And I think even if he would have gotten it cleanly, I don't think he'd have gotten it first. Very tough. He police lined out to Shinjo in the second. Popped him up. Martinez going out, making the call and the catch. And that ends the inning. Cardinal strand one, three nothing. Cards. Giants baseball is brought to you by Jack in the Box, where we don't make it till you order it. By Chevron. Remember, it's what's inside that counts. Use Chevron with Techron. And by AT&T Broadband. Cable television, internet, and local phone service. For more information, call 1-800-945-2288.
All right, we're going to ask and answer our Athletic Trivia question. The question, name the player to lead the National League in home runs as both a Giant and as a Cardinal. Our survey set. Johnny Mize, the big cat. 1939-1940 with the Cardinals. 1948-47 with the Giants. Get to meet Johnny Mize one time at Candlestick. Was he the big cat? He was, and he was as nice a human being that ever walked the face of the earth. He, Just was, a, he was a nice big cat. A humble man. And he had some big paws on him, too, now. Miner grounded out to short to end the first inning. And he comes up empty in a big swing, and it's one ball and one strike. Strike and it's one and two. This little paralyzer in a back corner. That big backdoor breaking ball just freezes you because it comes in there about 75 miles per hour. And it's so big you give up on it. I mean, it's really a deceptive pitch. And here's the pitch we're talking about. It just locks a guy up. You get out after it, boom, you freeze. Just missed. Backdoor sinker on the inside corner at the belt. Another pitch that will freeze a lefty. Two and two. Popped them up. Polanco puts it away, and that's out number one. You know, we always like to give you happy endings, and look at this happy ending. <laughs> that's what we like to see. Big smiles and happy faces. And that dad is raising her right. Benito Santiago grounded out to second. In the second inning, 0 for 1. Strikes to Santiago. Pitcher that works that fast is a confident pitcher. And he knows what he wants to do. He's two or three pitches ahead. One ball and one strike. Santiago steps out. As soon as he releases that ball, he's backing up, getting ready to get on that rubber and get going again. And it's one and two. David Bell to follow. game tomorrow, 4 o'clock start, no TV. To be radio only. Two and two. Curveball got him. Wow. That was a curveball that absolutely caved in the whole front side of Benito Santiago. I mean, he identifies this pitch as someone's going to hit him. Gets out after it, breaks it down, mm. set up away, goes on the inside corner. And De Police convinces Jerry Meals, the plate umpire, that it's strike three. Here's David Bell. Breaking ball strike. Home runs for David Bell over the last four years. Well, he's on a pace that set his all-time single-season high of home runs. Last night is 15th, a very emotional two-run shot, tied the score. To short. Renteria to end the inning. Four complete innings here at the ballpark. It stays 3-0. Cardinal. Well, this Sunday, July 28th, the Giants will celebrate one of the most exciting moments in baseball history, courtesy of Delta Airlines. Matter of fact, we think it is the most exciting moment in baseball history. 
Bobby Thompson shot her around the world in the 1951 Giants. Pre-game ceremony will include Bobby Thompson, Elvin Dark, Larry Jansen, Don Mueller, Whitey Lockman, Spider Jorgensen, and many more. As that pitch is fouled out of play. Pre-game festivities will start at 12:15. Make sure you arrive early to the ballpark. That's this Sunday. Giants and Dodgers at 105. Aurelia got it. And Morris is out. That's what you're supposed to do when you have the pitcher lead off that inning. Make him run. Jam him so his hands buzz for the next four innings. And get the out. An easy ground ball. Here's Vina. Vina is 0 for 2. Ball for a strike. Outside, just miss. One ball and one strike. Very close to the same location, the last pitch. Just Pitching them away and playing them away. They've got Shinjo about 10 steps over to the left center field gap out of straightaway center. And they are setting up for this whole at bat to go here. Very high. Two balls in a strike. See how normal straightaway position. They give them the line and right. And they give them a gap in right center. They want this at bat to go right there. Fastball up in the outside corner, pitching into the defense. Miner can't get it. That's down the right field line. Vina, who can scoot, will pull up at second with a double. Pretty impressive at bat right there. They made a mistake. They crossed up the defense, came on the inside corner, and all Vina does is drop the head on the inside fastball. That is hit away from everybody. And once it gets past Miner, no chance. Easy double. Polanco hit by a pitch, and he's grounded out. Fifth inning, 3 nothing Cardinals. Lead. Smith checks on him, and it's in tight with a fastball 1 and 0. On an Nissan scoreboard, Arizona and Colorado 1 to 1. Right back to Schmidt. He looks Vina back and throws to Miner for the end. Oh, what a great pitch. Just explode a fastball right on the hands. This hurts. Get the ball, check the runner. Now get the easy out. Well done. He took a look, and now we're going to take a look at what's on tap for the Giants on TV, brought to you by Corona. And the Giants will host the Dodgers this weekend, and all three ball games will be on Fox KTVU, Channel 2, 7.30 on Friday, 1 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. So join us. That is what's on tap. Here's Edmonds. Low for a ball, 1-0. Oh. We'll reach back on that fastball, open him up with 97. Live 97. They have an open base here. Outside, two balls and no strike. Edmonds waits, and it's up and in, and it's three and zero. Oh. Holds 
Schmidt's on deck. See if Schmidt even comes close. He does. Three and one. Perfect pitch. 97 on the outside corner. I'm a little surprised. I thought the 3-0, Dusty Baker might just four finger him over the first. And now it's three and two. Again, same location, 96 in the black. I tell you, it's a pretty subtle way for a manager to show a pitcher that he's got confidence in him. Say, I know he took you deep last time, but you made him look foolish his first A.B. You got an open base there, corner pitch him. See what you got, big boy. Squirts away from Santiago, it's ball four. Vina goes to third. Only the second walk that Schmidt is allowed. Here's Pujols. He walked and he flied out. Genia at third. At first is Edmonds. Blowing away, one and zero. Oh. Here's the three-two pitch to Edmonds. It's a breaking ball that one hop Santiago. It's been ruled a pass ball, and I think they may reconsider that. I think you're right. One and zero. Oh. Outside, two and zero. Oh. That was a wild pitch. Guys get throwing those breaking balls up there 85, 86 miles now. The spin on them is so tight that they explode when they hit the dirt. 3 and 0. Oh. It's Tino Martinez on deck. Schmidt went 3 0 to Edmonds and made it back to 3 2. Pujols is going to be all over a fastball if he likes it. And the walk. Comes Dave Rigetti. Now the, the pitch that has been so elusive this inning has been the kill pitch. Had the two strike counts. Can't finish it off. Giants baseball is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines, bringing people together with low fares. Flies Southwest. You know, Martinez doubled off. One of the archways in right field. That knocked in a pair of runs, and then he flied out to left field in the fourth. Outside corner strike, and it's 0 and 1. Nine grand slams for Tino Martinez. Well, we know he can hit the high fastball. I proved that in the first inning. High and away, one ball and one strike. Vina, Edmonds, Pujol. Here's the one-one. Popped him up. David Bell will give chase. But that will be out of play. When you're in your windup, as Schmidt is with the bases loaded, 
before you start your motion, the first movement you have is your head will turn to third base and check the runner at third. That head check prevents the steal. Here's the one, two. Another pop up and another one that'll make it out of play. One and two with the bases loaded. Three nothing Cardinals. Giants trying to stay close. Right there, good fight off, stay alive, swing from Martinez. Schmidt trying to finish him off with fastballs, just trying to paint that outside low, knee high, nasty fastball. How about that move? A great shot, isn't it? One, two. He got him. Martinez leaves them loaded. Guys coming up. Three nothing Cardinals. Welcome back to the ballpark, everybody. Earlier, we talked about the status of Barry Bonds. Here's an update on both Jeff Kent and Reggie Sanders. Kent out with a sore quadricep. Now, he could have played tonight, but the Giants wanted to be careful. Give him one more day off. He should be back in the lineup tomorrow. He is uh, available to pinch hit tonight. Reggie Sanders felt a little twinge in his hamstring last night. He will probably be out of the Giants lineup a couple of more days. Guys, back to you. Here's Dunstan, and Dunstan chases a high fastball, and it's 0-1. Saw Kent with the one glove in batting practice. I think more guys are starting to do that. They're going back to the one glove, bare hand, top hands approach. Goes Marvin Bernard, surgery on his knee. Dunstan with a, a base hit right back up the middle in the second inning. That swing right there is one of the better swings the Giants have had against that curveball tonight. The neutralizer hook. You gotta wait. Got him. Ball gets away. De Police will throw him out. Well, reminded of the best damn sports show periods. All Star uh, Summer continues with Kareem Abdul Jabbar dropping by. Junior Sale will also check in. Bert Blyleven will be there. You can talk about all kinds of things, as only the best damn sports show crew can. See it after the game right here on Fox Sports Net. Shinjo. Round it out to third to end the second. Two balls and no strikes. Morris takes a walk. the subject but that's one of the best full moons we've ever seen mm -hmm. yeah. it's a good one that's what we're talking about this thing is huge
three and one. Martinez. Can he make the play? Out. Yes. Wow. That's a big league play right there. Even after Martinez got to the ball, I thought couldn't get his footwork going to get off the throw. It looked like he was off balance here. Turns, a uh, rifles a strike right to Morris, who was on the bag. And they get him. And it really isn't close. Nice play. Schmidt takes a pitch up high. Had a little problem getting the ball. I mean, <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's quite an effort from Tino Martinez coming up with that out. They're talking to Vina Lapa. Look at this thing. It rolls up his arm into his armpit. Strike out. Schmidt chases a breaking ball. One and two. I'd like to know what pitches are hitting against Mike or Matt Morris. I bet it's not very high. Strike three call into inning. Five strikeouts for Morris. We'll go to the sixth inning where J.D. Drew will lead it off. It's 3-0 St. Louis. Giants baseball is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers who invite you to E-Air Expo at Moffett Field on July 27th and 28th to see the all-new redesigned 2003 Silverado. By Pennzoil, we're driving protection. And by Taco Bell. For a tasty deal, think outside the bun. Saturday night, August 10th, join giant celebrities. It's a gourmet dinner. A wine pairing benefit is for Until There's a Cure Foundation. This special event will be at the Weston St. Francis Hotel. The number to call, 1-800-88-UNTIL. 1-800-88-UNTIL. Call now. Bay Bridge, lit up. It really is amazing. It, it, when you come to Pac Bell Park, take a walk. And if you can, go up to the view section on the right field side and look back across the field towards Treasure Island. See the Bay Bridge? It's just spectacular at night. J.D. Dew take, takes high. And it's one ball and no strike. That's the view Mike's talking about. It's quite, quite spectacular 2 and 0 Drew has struck out twice Schmidt has 6 3 and 0 90 pitches now for Schmidt Four pitch one. Well, I think JD Drew is pretty happy with that at bat. Had two strikeouts coming into that AB. And when you're dangling around a, a hat trick, a walk is a gift. Renteria is grounded out. He's Picked up an infield hit. Into right center field. Dunstan all over it. And he'll put it away. That's what he needed. It was a one pitch out. Here's Deep Police, who's 0 for 2. Tree has always had a good approach to the opposite side of the field. Good front foot hitter. Good low ball hitter. That really is his zone right there. Deep police. Looking down to Jose Akendo. Oh, 
One ball and no strikes. Giants do not think that Deep Belize, at least if he hits it in the air, is going to pull the ball. He's really giving him the gap and left center field. One ball and no strike. There's a strike. Nomar Garcia Parra hit three home runs today. How many RBIs? I have no idea. I think it was eight. I think he had them all before the third in. That's why I ask. He may have, you know, I don't know. If he had eight before the third or after the third. I don't know if he had more to it or not, but what a day. One ball and one strike. Right below us. David Bell doing some work. Tending his garden. Rockhead sticking out. Something's bugging him down there. One and two. Away from Santiago. And down to second goes Drew. It would be the third wild pitch in the game for Schmidt. You know, and Santiago gets in trouble here because I mean, just naturally he likes to unwind with a very unorthodox backhand style to try and block that ball. That's the position he goes up into his his throwing motion with from the knees. But it's really not the way to go about blocking a ball. And that's what happens. The ball is spit away from him when you do it incorrectly. But he has done it for so long and he's been effective throwing from his knees to the runner try to advance. Boy, second base from first. Put him down. I don't think at 37 years old he's going to change, but boy, you're really asking for trouble. The Bell is having a hang of time over there. What were you looking for when you turn your guard over there? Now he's, what he's doing is, is the in that area, the ground is very loose. He's trying to firm it up. Two and two to deep police. Ooh. Ooh, it's right. <laughs> it's, uh, He's filling in some holes. Either replace the turf or returf the place. Full count to deep police. Some kind of eye right there. Schmidt walks off looking at plate umpire Jerry Mills as if to say, What the heck was wrong with that pitch? And with that, that's 99 pitches on the night for Schmidt. Chad Zerbi will start to get loose. Morris is struck out. He's grounded out. By the way, Garcia Parr, the third hitter. With three home runs in a game this year. Berkman did it in April. Durazo did it in May. No one in June. And now Nomar in July. There's the bunt. Schmidt. No chances. And he fired a C to Martinez. And it'll go 1 4 on the sacrifice bunt. Try and get the out at third. You put the ball on the left side of the infield. Schmidt never even gave a look to third base. And that's the bullet you're talking about. One four. Vina, a double in the fifth inning. A base open should the Giants choose to stay away from Vina. Pitch out of the windup. 
I always felt you were asking for trouble for a right-hander, especially to throw out of the windup with anybody on base. I think there's an exception when you have a runner at third base for a left-handed pitcher. A lot of lefties don't like to turn their back to that runner at third when they go into their stretch position, so they will go for the windup. Low, one ball and no strike. There are a lot of bad things that can happen out there when you're in your windup that can cause you to balk and the runner at third base. That's not good. Santiago to have a word with Schmidt. I think this is all about don't be so fine with that fastball. It's explosive. You put yourself in a hole trying to go to a corner, make a perfect pitch early in the count. One thing that has dogged Schmidt tonight is the base on balls. He's got five of them. And with the stuff that he's been featured tonight, it's really hasn't had to, to be that fine. Shinjo coming in. And that'll end it. Giants still in it. As we go to the bottom of the six, they trail by three. Three nothing Cardinals. Giants half of the sixth inning. Giants with only two hits in this game. Dunstan a single in the second and Goodwin a single in the third. Out of the ball game is Tina Martinez. And the report is he's, he's out with back spasm. Who holds the move from left to first? Now uh, Eli Marrero is in left field replacing Pujol. Top of the order for the Giants. Goodwin takes a breaking ball outside for a ball. In at third is Polanco. 2 and 0. Oh. Giants would love to bang a couple of hits together, get something going. Put a little pressure on Morris. Three and zero. Oh. And if you're Tom Goodwin, what do you think? Take two. And go to right. There he takes one. And it's three balls and one strike. And he takes another one in his ball four. Good baseball from Tom Goodwin. Here's a look at Barry Bonds home run tracker brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. 28th this season. His last one came against Randy Johnson. Going apple. That game he almost had two. Hit one off the 404. Sign out in left center for a double. And then followed up with that opposite field home run. And that has been the last one he's hit. Here yeah, right now, that's a good move from Dave Felice. Dave Felice go out there to try and calm Morris down. Morris sitting on a 3-0 lead. Going to the bottom of the six. Walks a leadoff hitter. A little ticked off. Had a little walk around the mound. And all of a sudden, Dave Felice says, you know what? I'm going to calm my pitcher down. And he did just that. Good time to go out there. Now Goodwin on the first pitch the last two times he's been aboard has taken on. Double play ball. There's one. There's two. You know when you have a sinker it's like the greatest friend that you could possibly have. Morris walks the first guy. He's in his stretch. One pitch later, this is what you get. And he has put, been putting the ball on the ground all night long. Even a ball that's up has got downward movement so that when you get up and get after it as a hitter, you're hitting the bottom or the top of the ball, and you get a ground ball out of it. Taylor made. Four, six, three. A nice little exchange there from Renteria. Looked like he had a bit of a bobble. Managed to dig it out and get the back in. Outside to Rich Aurelia. Couple of ground balls off the bat of Aurelia. Up and in, 2 0. Oh. 81 
one pitches for Matt Morris. Strike to make it two and one. And that's another nice, nice thing about the, the sinker ball is that most pitchers who have those sinkers, that ball gets hit. They don't go too deep into account. You don't beat yourself up with a lot of throws. Or really off the end of the bat into the dugout of the Cardinals. It's two and two. Morris has one complete game on the year. Cardinals as a staff have just two. Two and two. Inside now it's three and two. Morris thought he had him. He was walking off the mound. Cardinals carry 12 pitchers on their staff. Here's the 2-2 two -two fastball. Nice frame job. Big police. Pretty strong handed catcher. And that'll do it. He threw him a 3-2 hook. Six strikeouts for Morris. Seventh inning coming your way. 3-0. Cardinals. Let's take a look at our Pinzoil protection play. Pinzoil, we're driving protection. And with Tsuyoshi Shinjo, the hitter, little ground ball to the right side of the infield. And Tino Martinez goes over and picks it up. And it, 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 he get, gets a handle on it, digs it out of his armpit, throws a strike to Matt Morris. And that nails Shinjo. Here we go. You think we're kidding? Up the armpit. And it, it, he gets him. That's our Pinzoil protection play. A nice stay with there from Tino Martinez to get the out. Here's Polanco. Low to Polanco. He's 0 for 2, hit by a pitch and scored. Only six hits in this game. Giants hoping Kent will play tomorrow or start tomorrow. David Bell can't get it. That's down the left field line. Goodwin will track it down. Polanco's got a double. Five hits now for the Cardinals. Well, I'll go get a little fastball at the belt inside. Shows a quick bat to that inside locator. He hadn't done a whole lot against Schmidt lifetime prior to that. He had a three for 14 going. First extra base hit right past David Bell, who plays well off the line. Had a bad idea. You don't see many balls pulled off Schmidt. With that 96 mile an hour fastball average, David Bell takes advantage of it, plays well off the line, and it cost him there. Edmonds, a strikeout, a home run, and a walk. And a strike, and it's 0 1. Looks to second and throws, and that's driven the left. Goodwin back at the wall. It is off the wall. It fall, it Goodwin falls down and ricochets away from him. And Edmonds with a double at an RBI. Okay, how many times have you seen Jim Edmonds go the opposite way with Pop? Really, one of the things that makes him such a standout power hitter is that his ability to go the opposite way. With a good pitch, that ball had some some steam going away from him on that outside corner, and stays back so well and just puts some drive and almost knocks out a second home run of the day, the opposite way. Impressive at bat. Four nothing with who holds coming up. Felix Rodriguez starting to stretch it out now. Baker's coming out. Slow walk from the skipper. Trying to give Rodriguez a little bit more time. And I 
that's what he's doing. He's getting more throws for his pitcher. Jerry Meals will find out what the manager's decision is going to be. And he wants Rodriguez. Schmidt departs. Rodriguez coming in. It's 4 nothing Cardinals. We're in the seventh inning. Stay with us. We'll be back. 4 nothing Cardinals. As Pujols gets ready to step in. Forty third game for Felix Rodriguez. Check out the ERAs. That's what's been so disappointing for Felix Rodriguez. It's a good opportunity to get some work in right here. Outside corner strike and it's 0 and 1. You know, it hasn't been for a lack of stuff. It's not like he's been cutting himself off. And where he was having a problem earlier getting on top of his throwing motion and, and being able to control his pitches, that hasn't been as dramatic as it was earlier. Right now, it's confidence. It's right between his ears. You're out there thinking, what could go wrong next? Martinez. It's a minor. On the play, Edmonds the third. When you get that mindset, that's when things start to happen. And they start happening badly. The other thing, too, is when you have a target up there that you're eyeballing as a pitcher, you don't throw to the target, you throw through it. And that's an aggressive pitcher that does that. And right now, without his confidence, he's not as aggressive. Marrero hitting at a 271 clip. He started last night in right field and went one for three. Right back to Rodriguez. And that's out number two. Freezing and staying at third is Edmonds. It's tough to get out there when you're not a confident athlete. The good side, however, is that it can come back quickly. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you saw Felix Rodriguez strike a guy out and hop off the mound like he was doing the last couple of years? We haven't seen it. Drew, 0 for 2 with a walk. Foul back. you're going to throw a guy a good location pitch, do it on the first pitch. Because at 95, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's still a pitch that favors the pitcher. If you get that 0-1, though, anything at the belt out of the plate is a mistake. A little pop-up. David Bell makes the catch. That's in fair territory, and it ends the inning. A run for the Cardinals. Giants. Got some work to do. Welcome back to the ballpark, everybody. Tonight for our GMC professional grade, we're keeping a close eye on the Giants' offense and how they're trying to manufacture runs without Ken Bonds and Sanders in the lineup. Tom Goodwin has done his part. Twice he's got on. In the first inning, he walked and stole a base. And then in the third inning, he singled and stole the base. He also walked in the sixth. But the problem is the three guys hitting behind Goodwin, Martinez, Aurelia, and Minor, are all for eight. That is our GMC professional grade for tonight. And Minor with a base hit to center field. All yeah, right, make it one for nine. Bullet. Just up there for looking, looking for something out over the plate. Gets it, delivers. The power of Big Tiny. Santiago is grounded out and struck out looking on a wicked curveball. Ball is high. One ball and no strike. Morris 
with six strikeouts. Two walks. Coming in is Edmonds. That's a base hit. Back to back hits for the Giants. First time that's happened tonight. And the hitter will be David Bell. Matt Moore starting to make some mistakes upstairs. Made a mistake to Tiny Miner for a knock, and here's one right at the belt. And Santiago all over it. That last pitch from Morris is 88th of the night. And Dave Duncan right now trying to get him back down around the knees where most of his sinking movement is. David Bell will step up. Take it low. One ball and no strike. Third time through the lineup. That's impressive. The guy goes 289, 230, 232. He gets tougher as the day goes longer into the game. Could be a pair. Renteria to Vina to Pujol. And right now, I think Dusty Baker has seen enough sinkers that have gotten ground balls, that have gotten double plays, that have killed rallies. So really, uh, that's what they're pitching for. Right to Renteria, to Vina, over to Pujols, an easy twinner. Here's Dunstan. Dunstan takes low. Dunstan is singled and he's struck out. The morale getting loose. Miner at third. Two outs. Swing and a miss. One ball and one strike. You think sit down a, a good inning? Builder three quick outs has to feel good for him. Dunson steps out. Morris, like Schmidt, likes to go out of the windup of her third base. They'll do that till they balk in a run and then they'll be at the stretch. <laughs> That's what usually happens. KT with a bat in his hands. Of the 20 outs that Morris has gotten tonight, 18 have either been by ground ball or strikeout. Dunstan up and in, and it's three and one. Almost got him. Sit up inside that thing is a little bit higher than they wanted to go. A little too far in, almost got him. That movement's running into him. The way that Dunstan turned on that pitch is the way you get hurt. There you go, two flats, 12 ground outs, six strikeouts. A lot of balls in the dirt. There's the walk. That's tough to do. That's tough to walk, Sean Dunstan. Joe is grounded out twice. It's about time for the miracle home run of the day, isn't it? Yep. Can't get him ready.
It's up to Shinjo to extend the inning. Her ball strike in its own way. Nasty. Big first pitch, slow deuce. Nobody looks for that. Great way to steal a strike. One up swinging at it, usually swing it about as hard as that pitch is throwing. In the dirt. One and one. That's minor at third. Dunstan aboard at first. The bluff and a bluff. Sean Dunstan never moved his feet. He's got about a three foot lead off of first base. Left center field. Making the catch is Edmonds in front of Moreno, and that ends the inning. Seven complete, four nothing, Cardinals. Four nothing, Cardinals, as we head to the top of the eighth inning. Time for our drive of the game brought to you by your Bay Area Nissan dealers. And we think that Jim Edmonds' solo shot back in the third inning, number 20 on the year for Edmonds. And it was where the big boys hit him deep in right center field. That is worthy of being our drive of the game. Here's Renteria. Renteria, an infield hit in the fourth. He's one for three. Four nothing Cardinals. Top of the eighth inning. Glad you joined us here on Fox Sports Net. Games. Three and four of the series tomorrow and Thursday. Two afternoon games, radio only. Tomorrow, four. Thursday, 12 30. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Bouncing ball, foul. I'd like to mention our. Call letters on the Giants radio network, KMBR 680. We'll have both those games Wednesday and Thursday. 0 oh 2. Inside, one ball and two strikes. You know, one thing that's hard for pitchers sometimes, especially guys that throw as hard as Felix Rodriguez does. Remember in the Dodgers series, he threw a fastball up and hit Eric Harris in the, in the face. Some guys, it's hard for them to go back to the inside part of the plate for that very thing. They're afraid they're going to hit a guy again. And Korea hit this ball off his knee. Well, that was a nice pitch. Right at the belt. Renteria's got all kinds of protection from the ankle up, but nothing that protects the knee. And it is unusual for a hitter to hit a ball off the inside part and for a right handed hitter off their left knee. No problem for Felix coming back inside. Ball runs up the bat of Renteria. He's got more equipment on than Santiago does. Somehow it missed all of it. That hurts. Fastball running right in on his hands, right off the kneecap. Sniper got it. So, okay, now, how much of his heart is in this at bat right now? It's in it on every pitch except one that was just like the last one. So if you're a pitcher, come inside. Do the same pitch. And then they go. Great pitch. David Bell's going to have a tough play. And they're not going to get it. 
Yes, you know, I'm not buying the pain. Guy gets jammed and legs out an infield single. I think he set up the whole defense. Now watch him try to steal a base. Same pitch goes right back in there. Like you said, jammed him again. David Bell doesn't get much of a ground ball. It kind of goes back on it. Then it adjusts. Can't get a grip. And Renteria beats it out. Double clutch, just a, a half step dip, difference, and that was the difference in the play. Here's Deep Felice. Strike to Deep Felice, who's 0 for 2 with a walk. Defense set up. Jim Joe shading deep the lace towards the gap in right center field. Opposite field pop up that will be out of play. All right, nice play. Bring your glove, you get a ball. And pats in the back and a lot of admir admiration from your little brother. Got him played right. Bam. All right. Stop it. Barehander. That is a happy boy. 0 and 2. Low and away. One ball and two strikes. Phoenix looking for that ground ball that has helped Matt Morris out so often tonight. A one pitch, two out ground ball. One and two. Runner goes, pitches low. Santiago to second, not in time. Renteria yeah. feeling a lot better about that leg. That's his 13th stolen base. You, you got to put this guy in the book in the kangaroo court. Goes down, holds his knee. Trader comes out, legs out an infield single. Now he steals a bag. <laughs> two and two to Deep Police. fly ball the left field for Goodwin. Goodwin makes the catch. That's on number one. And that'll bring up more. Not a good at bat for Dave Felice. Not a productive out. Tony LaRusse's theory on a lead is to get a five run lead. So if your opponent hits a grand slam you still have the lead. So that one run out there is important to LaRusse. Ball for a strike and it's 0 and 1. Arizona leading Colorado 4 to 1. Dodgers leading the Padres 8 to 6. Both those games late. High to Morris. One ball and one strike. Here it's four nothing. Morris does not have a lifetime home run. He's chasing you, Kite. Here's the pitch. 
right to Martinez, and he makes the kick. That'll feel good. Jam sandwich shattered his bat. Yeah, they're pitching. You can jam like that. Sometimes that'll ring up your throwing hand. You get beans in your fingers. You can't feel the ball. Ball runs right up his bat. <laughs> Here's Vigna. That's the greatest sound ever right there. Vigna, one for four. Up and in. Vigna spins to get out of the way. One ball and no strike. Hey, Pete, you dropped a little Barbara Bernard stank guy on him. Leadoff hitters do that. You gotta have a good stank guy to hit leadoff. One and oh. Inside, two balls in no strike. A little stank guy right there. Kid from Sacramento. There's a strike. You know, Vigna has a, a, an unusual habit. The way that he gets in the box, and then he'll point that bat at the pitcher, sort of shake it at the guy. Right there. Own trademark. He picked that up from Rocky Colavito. Well, he's pointing in the wrong direction if he picked it up from Rock. High to make it three and one. I used to love his setup as a kid. Rocky Colavito, the Cleveland Indian star. First time I ever saw it was in a home run derby match. But that is cool. Gotta do that in the backyard. Is there a style of hitter that you used to try and copy? No, not really. And the walk to Vigna. Thought Willie Stargell had a, a cool style. Thought Willie McCovey, the way he got in the batter's box was pretty special. Wizard will be going into the Hall of Fame this year. Ozzie Smith, who started out as a Padre, but will go into the Hall of Fame as a Cardinal. He was something. You know, he used to love to go to St. Louis to watch the Cardinals take infield just to watch Terry Pendleton and Ozzie Smith and Tommy Herr and Keith Hernandez put on a show. They were the best. And it would carry over into the game. It's one of the best infields I've ever seen. Polanco steps out. Renteria at second. Vigna aboard at first. And there's a strike, and it's 0 1. So your base runners, 4 0 Cardinals. We're in the eighth inning. Blanco has scored a couple of runs. Put in the middle. 
and two. Just nothing in two. Climb that ladder. Go right back up there again. That's chasing. Something that's very hard to catch up to. 96 mile an hour fastball above the letters. Trying to put your top hand on that on that pitch almost impossible. Here's the 0 2. Left field. Goodwin going back. He's there, and that ends the inning. Cardinals will strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's 4 0 St. Louis. All right, here's our game summary brought to you by Jack of the Box. The Cardinals, four runs on seven hits, no errors. Giants, no runs on four hits and no errors. Matt Morris, seven strong innings, just four hits allowed, three walks, six strikeouts. And Jim Edmond, his 20th home run, a solo shot in the second, or the third, rather, and an RBI double for Tino Martinez in the first. And that's your Jack of the Box summary. And here's J.T. Snow, who takes the strike. Morris working quickly comes back in a check swing roller. Tough play. Vigna will barehand it and throw. And Snow diving is thrown out. I think that dive to first base may have rocked Snow a little bit. Nice play. Barehander from Vigna. About the only way he could get this ball over to first base in time. No, just slammed into the ground. Ouch. Here's Goodwin. Goodwin takes a strike. He's two for, check that he's one for one with a couple of walks. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, JT Snow hit really hard. He had that collision play last night with the feeding to catch over the Cardinals. One of the better hits we've seen on a catcher. One of the better plays by a catcher. Surviving the hit. Snow, I think he hit that ground harder than he hit the feeding last night. Three and one to Goodwin. The player we were talking about last night. J.T. Snow being waved home by Sonny Jackson. Ball goes up, and Matheny somehow hangs on to it. Jason Sematachi. Good win, a flare to left. That's going to be a base hit in yeah. front of Moreno. Have a night. What a leadoff hitter is supposed to do. Get on base, and Goodwin has gotten on base four times. Little sinker on the outside corner, about 95. Boy, his head stays still through the swing. Very calm, upper body, just drop the head on the ball. Let the pitcher supply the power. Doesn't get good wood. If he gets good wood, he's out. Ball's on the end. He didn't get good wood. He got good wind. <laughs> it was a good one. Martinez 0 for 3. Strike and it's 0 and 1. Boy, he's done that well tonight. Dropped that big curveball in for strike one. That is not an easy pitch to control. And he has had exceptional command with it. One to Martinez. Another breaking ball, and it's 0 2. Pretty much straight away for Ramon Martinez. Morilla on deck. High and fouled on the right field line. And 
that'll be a souvenir. couple of steals. He's got his lead. He goes. Bouncing ball. Foul on the third base side. Oh, another huge jump. Good one. Got a good pitch to go on, too. That big, slow curveball. About a half of it. Picking a good pitch to, to steal on. And that slow curveball from Morris, about 75 miles an hour. I mean, that's, that's a great pitch to steal on. It's dookie slow, isn't it? Yeah, that's dookie slow. Going to Goodwin back. Three call. Boy, again. That's how good that pitch is. You can come back with it twice. And then that's not even a pitch out of the strike zone. It's right back in the strike zone. And it may be that Martinez just thought that ball was going to be a ball. Police, they police doing a nice job of frame it in. Strikeout number seven. And last pitch from Morris on 111 as Dave Beers and Luther Hackman start to get those. Aurelia sails this one back and out of play. Zerbe continues to throw in the bullpen. High, one ball and one strike. Cardinals will head home after this series to take on the Cubs. You know, weekend series in St. Louis. Giants, of course, will host the Dodgers here this weekend. Outside corner strike to Aurelia, and it's one and two. Giants will have a day off on Monday, but that day will be taken as they head to Philadelphia. One and two. Off the end of the bat, but he stays alive. Kirk Reeder will pitch tomorrow. Ryan Jensen will pitch on Thursday. Andy Bennis tomorrow for the Cardinals. Travis Smith will pitch for the Cardinals on Thursday. One and two. Ah. Morris dropped down a bit. Two balls and two strikes. That's the time to do it. A little sneak attack, surprise breaking ball. You change the angle with which that breaking ball breaks just by lowering your arm angle. More of a of a side type break to the ball. This is with it off the plate. Good pitch. Goodwin goes. There's a base hit in the center field. Goodwin never stops. Big breaking ball. A lot of breaking balls are sitting from Morris and it's really it breaks the bat hit off the end of the bat and watch good one go sees it with two outs he's not slowing down he can fly it's fun to watch him go Damon Miner will hit I have runners at first and third. And two out. <laughs> he 
these are the situations you crave for as a young hitter trying to establish yourself right here. Strike on the inside corner. In that game in Arizona, Juan Uribe has just cleared the bases with a double, and Colorado has taken a 5 to 4 lead over Arizona. The game is in the eighth. Outside the minor. One ball and one strike. Well, Morris wants to finish this at bat off on the inside part of the plate. Pretty much the same pitch that he threw to open up the AB. There's a strike and it's one and two. Back to a breaker. It, it's just impressive as to how he has used that pitch. It, it's a big break to it. And he bends that thing right up. Wraps it right around the outside corner. Now the inside part of the plate is really set up. That's where they went. Veers, Hackman. Conversation about what they want to do here. I mean, the four pitches prior here have set up the pitch they want to throw now. The question is, do you want to throw another breaking ball? If you do, do you want to drop it in towards the back foot of your left-handed hitter? Do you want to try and backdoor another wrap type curveball? Got him. That's what they did. And Miner is tagged out, and that'll end the inning. Eight strikeouts for Morris. Four nothing Cardinal. It's time now for Carl's Jr. in your face for big juicy charbroiled burgers. The name of the game is Carl's Jr. And we think that a foul ball that went up in the stands was wrestled down with nicely by the big brother who does the bare hand snag. He gets a hug from the little brother. That's my brother. You know what's great is watching the little guy celebrate with the big guy. All right. And that is in your face. <laughs> that is a brotherly love right there. And how about this one, huh? First Giants game. Start him early. Looking that thumb. It's the best seat in the house right there. Edmonds, two hits, a home run, a double, two RBIs. Strike at the knees, and it's 0-1. Now, last week, J.T. Snow at first, Edmonds and Zerby had a problem. Yes, they did. Zerby hit Edmonds with a pitch. And Zerby said, I'm going to pitch him inside again. I mean, that's just what I do. Edmonds again had a problem on Sunday in Pittsburgh with one of the Pittsburgh pitchers. Here's the 0-2. Low and away, one and two. Deck is pulled. Got him. Edmonds is out. He's had kind of a weird night. I mean, he's had two of the funkiest strikeout hacks I've ever seen. But in the same game, and that ball was by him. In the same game, he's had one of the longer home runs hit here this year, and then a very impressive opposite field double. Amazing. Maybe he kept looking for that inside fastball that Zerby promised there in the you, paper. There you go. Right field, that's a base hit. Dunstan will try to hold him to a single. And he will. Two holes with his first hit. I'm going to bring up Eli Marrero. Marrero in a 
his first at bat in the seventh off of Felix Rodriguez hit a comeback. Low and in one ball and no strike. Dig it in. Here's the pit. Strike at the knees to even the count. Big Andy Bennis. He will face Kirk Reeder tomorrow. Bittis had talked about retiring earlier in the year, but he did. Hey, he said, I'm done. They put him on the 60 day disabled list. Got better, and here he is. Outside, two and one. You know, I've heard guys say that too in, in their careers. And Rick Russell used to always say, you know, after this contract, I'm out of here. Got traded to the Yankees. Got hurt. Went on the shelf. Had a so shoulder surgery. Came back from a real tough arm injury. And pitched another six, seven years. And was never better. And, and the point was, is he said, you know, when I got away from the game, I reali realized just how much I missed it, how much I needed it. And he pitched until he could pitch no more. You always hear people say, well, you know, I'm sure it was the money. Not always. Hi, Papa. David Bell. And that's two down. I always like that line in Jim Bout's book, Ball Four. Where he said, you know, he was a pitcher. He said, I always felt that I had a grip on the baseball, and I realized later on. Baseball had a grip on me. And that is so true. It really is. Here's J.D. Drew. Two outs, one on. And a base hit to right field. Bringing... Renteria to the plate. And Renteria. A pair of infield hits. Four nothing. So far for the Cardinals, it's been a very comfortable lead because of the strong performance from Matt Morris. Inside the Renteria, 1 0. Benito's coming out. He's ready. He's been waiting for nine innings. <laughs> Got his colors on. Hat folded right. Got his glove on. Strike <laughs> outside corner. the ground David Bell's got it and he cannot get up they'll stay loaded well, that's a heck of a play just getting the ball and knocking it down and get to it, not knock it down but catch the ball so it doesn't get in the outfield but his spikes sort of let him down here as he tried to gain a foothold to get off a throw too late but this is great range So now they're loaded for deep police. David Bell, another tough play. Is he going to get him? He got him. 
And that ends the inning. Nothing routine for David Bell tonight. <laughs> Giants coming up. Tonight, the best damn sports show periods all-star summer continues when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar drops by to tell our guys who the best center in Lakers history really is. Plus, Chargers linebacker Junior Seau tells our guys if San Diego can return to glory this season. And former big league curler Burt Blyleman checks in to talk about the pennant races, labor trouble, and everything in between. The best damn sports show periods all-star summer continues after the game right here on Fox Sports Net. Dwayne and Mike, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Glenn. Dave Veers is the new pitcher. Dave Veers, a veteran. Has spent a lot of time in his career being a closer. And a great split figure fastball. Doesn't throw quite as hard as he once did. 45th game on the year, 3 and 6, 4 2 2 ERA, a couple of saves. He can still do that. 39 strikeouts of 53 and a third. And Benito Santiago will lead it off. Bottom of the ninth for the Giants. Beers have been, has been tougher on right-handers than he has been on lefties. Right, he's hit 218 off of Look at him. Santiago, look out. Well, he gets up around the head and guys lose their sense of humor real quick and I don't blame him. one and oh to Santiago the last at bat that Santiago had against Beers he homered on a 3-0 pitch. Foul. And it's one and two. David Bell on deck. If you want to send a message to the guy, keep him below the shoulders. Foul back, and it stays one and two. Gene Klein used to say, when he used to play in the Pirates organization, and they had that great hitting team, Clemente and Stargell, Dave Parker later on. These guys would, they would take batting practice, and they would have a session where they would try to hit the ball back up the middle. Santiago out on strikes. And they would do it if there was a guy that would throw a ball up around somebody's head. Al Oliver, Richie Zisk, Richie Hebner, Bill Robinson. Not happy. David Bell wraps one into center field, a base hit. And now to bring up Sean Dunston. You're right, he's not. And those are pitches you don't forget. Dave Duncan just taking some time. Let his bullpen get loose. Got 
Jason Isringhausen, the closer for the Cardinals down there, starting to get stretched. It really isn't a Tony La Russa game until you've had four pitching changes, so stay tuned. Dunstan is one for two with a walk. Towards the hole, Renteria's got it. There's the force play. As Vina gets out of the way. And there's two down. Oh, nice pick there by Rich Reed to get that lead out. He's, this is one thing he's always done well. Able to go far to his right, dig a, a ball out of the hole, and still turn and get something on the throw to get that force out at second. Nice play. Good pressure there from David Bell as well. Dodgers win tonight. Shinjo. Comes up empty and it's no balls in one strike. Arizona leading eight to five. Quinton McCracken in the bottom of the eighth inning. A huge hit. A double to knock in a pair of runs. One and one now to Shinjo. Dunstan off of first. One ball and one strike. Low and away, two and one. On deck, J.T. Snow are in the ninth. Sellout crowd tonight, over 40,000. Swing in a minute. Good split right there. Good pitch performance, great location, knee high on the black outside. Split coming back in, almost like a backdoor sinker at 80 miles per hour. Great pitch. There's a pop-up. Who holds? Can't get it. It'll be an error. Well, the game's in hand, or is it? Shinjo and the Giants get a, a second line. Who holds ninth air of the year? Those are embarrassing errors. Two and two to Shinjo. He's worked hard tonight behind the dish. Deep police, I beg your pardon. I think splits and fastballs are the hardest pitches to block. Unpredictable. Dunstan goes, hit on the ground to short. This could do it. And for Rhea, the two holes, and that's the ball game. Four nothing is your final. Is Matt Morris was spectacular. We'll have more after this. <laughs> 